What's going on guys? All right, so I've got a treat here today. I've got a 707 horsepower brand new Jeep Trackhawk and this thing's a monster. Guys, if you like what I'm doing and you appreciate it, don't forget to give this th video a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see more of these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I've got a bunch of how-tos coming along for this car and it's a brand new film that we're putting on it. It's Vivid's Color 150 for those of you who've been following along. Since December is when we, when we went over this color. So it's been a while, it's been like six months. Finally, it's released. It's not really released yet. I'm putting it on this car and we've got a couple of brand new colors, four total brand new colors that have come in. Uh, and I have a brand new color coming in myself. So I'm gonna have you guys name that color for my signature color. It's, uh, it's pretty sweet. I'm excited about it. Uh, I could name it myself, but I'm gonna have you guys name it because I'm gonna run a contest. And I'm gonna see who comes up with the best name for that color, for my own signature color. And whoever comes up with the best name for that color is going to win a pretty awesome prize. I'm not gonna tell you yet what it is, but it's pretty awesome. So, guys, this color right here is phenomenal, first of all. If you like, if you've ever seen 3M Black Rose, it's very similar but this is much deeper, and I'll do a comparison of the two colors uh, later on. I think I have actually a piece of, a large piece of 3M Black Rose here. This is much deeper. Insulation-wise, it's a little thicker. Again, that's how we get more depth to the actual film itself, to the color itself. This way it looks like an expensive paint job and not a hazy paint job. 3M looks a lot really hazy compared to this, so. Uh, and we don't have to go over this with a heat gun to get out all the haziness. It actually lays down really nice. Air release works wonderful. And I'm going to do a bunch of instructional videos on how this film goes down. It's, we've got the car pretty much prepped. I just put a demo piece down to see what it looked like. I gotta take off the front bumper still and the headlights and a couple of other things. We're gonna get to it though. Guys, if you wanna see how this film goes down and what the final product looks like, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. It's gonna look phenomenal. This thing is going to be in nebula black. That's what the color is called top to bottom, every piece. So there's no gloss black roof, there's no gloss black shark fin antenna, there's no gloss black mirrors, no gloss, like the only gloss black accents are what's on it already. And actually some of that gray in the front there is actually being like those rings around the top of the grill and around the bottom of the fog light area are going to actually be painted gloss black by the shop next door. Uh, customer's request, I'm not gonna wrap them, we're gonna paint them gloss black. I want something a little bit more permanent. And uh, yeah, honestly the door handles to take off this thing are a huge pain. I don't know why Dodge has to make, or Jeep, has to make it such a pain to take off door handles. Like, you know, what was this? This is 2018. It should be a lot easier to take off door handles. Uh, it, took, it took me an hour to take off one of the front ones. So, been a slow process as far as the prep goes, just simply because the door handles are a huge pain. Otherwise, the rest of the car is coming along pretty good. Uh, not too much take off. Like I said, front bumper will come off. Rear bumper, I don't think I need to take off. Uh, couple of things in the back logo and stuff like that. Shark fin antenna and the roof rails gotta come off too. Those are super easy, they're just bolted on. Anyways guys, if you wanna see more, don't forget the subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing videos on this right now. Thank you for watching, take care.